Alright, back. So, the last, or second to best, or I guess it's tied with first. Uh, I'm not really sure. I haven't tried no halides out, but that, I'll get to that later. So, uh, T5s are, are the latest of the T-series lights. They are currently the cheapest of the t best of the best because they're really cheap. I Like I said, I got mine, which was a really good uh, brand. I don't remember what it was, though. <laughs> uh, I got mine, really good brand, for about $109 for 30-inch two bulbs. Uh, if you want the more complicated ones, if you have more money, because I don't have that much money because I'm still a kid, you know. But anyway, so, uh, if you have a, the, enough, or if you have enough money in your budget or whatever, uh, you can get four bulbs or the better brands, which are, which have, like, light timers built in. You can set individual lights to certain times. Uh... Individual, uh, so T5s are really good, they're, re they're relatively cheap compared to the other things that aren't as good, uh, let me feed these guys real quick, see if I can get them out, uh, what was I saying, so T5s are really good, they, they come in the right spectrum for all your needs, like reefs, they have right reefs, the reef, uh, reef spectrums, they have the right regular freshwater plant spectrums, they have pretty much everything is pretty right. Uh, if you're keeping uh, lower light plants like Anubius and Java Fern, uh, Anubius actually does somewhat, it does better in high lights, but in some cases it actually does better in low light. It's just one of those, you have to test it out plants. Uh, but anyway, so, if you have low-light plants, you can stick with low lights. I'm just talking about all the lights. Uh, so, T5 is really good, relatively cheap for you guys on a budget. Uh, next up is the metal halides. And there's one special thing, not a request, but I just had to put it in there because I recently learned about it. I'll stop the video and go get the magazine that I got it from because I can't find it around me right now. But, uh, metal halides are the most expensive of the best of the best because they can, the cheapest ones that I could ever find were, or bulbs and fixtures was like, what, 200, 300 bucks for the cheapest one, which means it's the, usually the worst one. But, uh, Justin paid big big bucks for his fixtures, and uh, I know because I I saw what they were and I really and I searched for them. And those those are pretty expensive. Uh, so uh, if you have the money, you can definitely get the metal halides and the big bucks. There's something even more expensive that is the coolest lighting I've ever seen in my life. Takashi Amano invented it, of course. Uh, I'll do a little bit on that later. But, uh, they're really good. They have relatively low wattage. They can be really, really bright. Or they are really, really bright, which is good for deep tanks. Uh, they have the right spectrums most of the time. You can get them, you can use them for reefs. You can use them for regular tanks. You really shouldn't buy them unless you have, if you, unless you have, like, a special need, like a reef or, uh, or really have, or, like, a planted aquarium. Because otherwise, they're really useless. I mean, in my opinion, because all the only reason people buy them is for their plants. Otherwise, they have no use. Uh, so what? So what? Metal halide is really good, really expensive. Uh, last in the lighting series are the Grand Solar Takashi Amano lighting system. They, that is the most, ex or, excuse me, I miss, uh, miss said when I, or misspoke when I was talking about metal highlights, but the Kashi Mano's Grand Solar, Solar System uh, is the most expensive of the best of the best. 
of the Planet Aquarium lighting. They are in the thousands of dollars for even the cheapest one, but in some cases it is completely worth it. They have combinations of, uh, of different lighting, like the cheapest one is a one metal halide and two compact fluorescent bulbs, I think, which is for one bulb, one compact fluorescent comes on in the morning which stimulates the sun rising, which is actually really cool if you've ever seen a video of it. Uh, so, one go turns on, then next, uh, the, then the next uh, floor, er, compact fluorescent comes on, then in the middle of the day, metal halide comes on, and that just makes stimulates the middle of the day, obviously, brightest point, sun's out, every, everything's shining, blah de blah de blah uh, so and then the metal halide turns off after a few hours and then comes and then turns off one of the fluorescents and then turns on the next fluorescent which makes the full light cycle yay whatever so as you can see pretty cool uh, uh, unfortunately I will probably never get, be able to uh, get one to get to have a review for you guys because by the time I actually have the money to buy it, uh, I'll be there'll be a lot better, more better stuff out there for the tanks. So obviously, I'm never gonna get it, <laughs> or at least not anytime soon. Uh, so, that's a double thing on the, uh, Grand Solar Series. The second, the second and third one have different, different secondary lights. They all have one, at least one metal halide, but they all have different secondary lights. Uh, the cheapest one that I could ever, the cheapest number one Grand Solar Series one, uh, the only, the cheapest place I could actually find it, uh, was <laughs> somewhere... The thousand and two thousand just for the cheap for the cheapest one. Uh, there's a similar there's similar systems out there that are technically just a complete copy, or the Kashimoto copied them or something. But he once he spent ten years in the Amazon studying the sun. So, which would you rather do, improvise or spend ten years in a, in a densely wooded forest with poison or disease carrying mosquitoes? Uh, I think you know which one you want. So obviously, Takashi Amano's a crazy man. Uh, so that's one thing. Uh, there's mimics of them that are that are much cheaper compared to it. Like cheapest mimic I could find was four hundred something dollars, which obviously I'm obvi I'm again never gonna buy. If I ever get a tank over a hundred gallons, I'm just gonna use T fives. Or metal highlights, probably T5s. Because they're cheaper. Uh, maybe metal highlights, I don't know. But, uh, our next video will either be a fry video of the Peacock Kitchens, or an egg video of the Peacock Kitchens, or an egg video of these guys. And, but, I will make sure to get to do a video as soon as my new stuff arrives, so. Hope this information helped you. Uh, if you have any more questions, you can mess, you can personal message me or leave a comment. Uh, I answer all the questions I can. Uh, I will also be starting a question and answer thing. I kn if anyone says you copy, I mean that's the lie because everyone else copied. Uh, a lot of people have started doing it, so don't say anything. So definitely is going to start doing a question and answer thing. You can leave a question in the comments, or leave uh, or send me a personal message on, from YouTube uh, for my channel. Uh, I'll try to answer all your questions that I, all the questions I can, and uh, hope I can help you. See you next time.